for one weekend, the Rada Performing Arts Center is transformed into the fictitious East High School for WSR's performance of High School Musical. The cast and crew were very excited when it was announced that it would be this year's musical. Um, well, it was a, a show that a lot of my friends and I had grown up with, and uh, it was really exciting to just, you know, we all knew it and we mm -hmm. grew up with it, so it was fun to... How many times did you see it on, the, on Disney? I don't know. I watched it a lot when I was a little kid, uh, but I haven't seen the movie in probably 10 years. Mm -hmm. it's been a while. Uh, I was actually pretty surprised. Um, we've done classical musicals the past three years that I've been in the theater, so it was a super big shock that we were going to do something contemporary. But I was really excited that we were going to have a change for my senior year. Uh -huh. They had done an excerpt from this for a um, large group speech contest for musical theater. Mm -hmm. And she just, she thought that would be a good one. And the kids really liked it. And they only got into it for speech. So she's mm -hmm. like, let's look at doing it for the musical. Um, well, Greg and I actually had the opportunity to sit down and talk through uh, what show we want to do depending on the students that we have. Um, and we always go through a whole list of shows depending on... Uh, the talent that we have and deciding who would fit best part and that kind of stuff. So when we came to that decision together, it was um, it, it was interesting because we both were like, oh, do we do this? It's such a new show. But then as we got started with the kids, we knew it was the right decision. I, unlike Max, I didn't get to see High School Musical as a kid because I grew up on PBS. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Disney, not really. I didn't really watch it beforehand. Did you get a chance to at least watch it on DVD uh, uh, just to see what, what, you, what you're in for? Mm -hmm, yep. In class, uh, at the end of last year, we got to watch it in choir. And I got to see sort of what sort of roles I was interested in and all that fun stuff. And get to see the show before we do the show. What, 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 what drew you to Chad then? Uh, for Chad, Chad is, is just a fun role. Like I get to be best friends, I get to pretend to be best friends with my best friend already. So it's <laughs> a really easy role, uh, except uh, one of the harder parts of it is that I have to act really stupid. So uh, Chad, uh, later on in the musical, it mentions that he can't count to 30. So <laughs> it's it's tough to try to so pretend to be someone new. So, so he's the exact opposite of how you are in real life. Sometimes, yes he is. Mm -hmm. Um, I was so excited. Um, I, in the past years, did uh, musical theater in the past, and we did High School Musical my junior year, so finding out we're finally getting to do the full production my senior year was so exciting, um, especially since I've watched High School Musical since I was young. I grew up having um, all the characters as Barbie dolls, so this is a really awesome <laughs> moment for me. So, so you're, you're a super fan of the, of the show? Super fan. I knew all the songs from heart from the beginning, so it was kind of more like a dream when we mm -hmm. found out we were actually getting to do a production that I grew up watching. Mm -hmm. so, but of course there always are some difficulties in the production like this. Some of the actors have to be able to sing, dance, and play basketball at the same time. Rasmus and, and the rest of the cats described how much of a difficulty it was. Um, I'm not going to lie, the basketball number has been quite a challenge, but um, in many of the directors that I talked with when we were trying to decide to do this show, they said that that was also a challenge, but I feel like because we have such well-rounded kids at Waverly Shell Rock, that getting um, our kids who are somewhat athletic also involved in, into the musical has never really been a problem. We um, are really open to everybody and we take everybody in our musical family. It's mm -hmm. phenomenal that way. So. Sometimes it can be inevitable for Rutledge and Hoyne to compare themselves to Zac Efron and Vanessa Hutchins who play Troy and Gabriella in the original high school mu musical movie series. I don't know. I feel like I compare myself to uh, Zac Efron a lot. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to find the uh, the character and when to switch between, you know, kind of his jock personality when he's around his jock friends, and then uh, when he's around Gabriella, it's kind of a little bit of a different personality. So mm -hmm. right, yeah. I've tried to make it as personal as possible. Just really being invested in what I think that she should act like. So. It's been kind of challenging, but it's been fun. Hey, Sharpay, how are you? Hey, Troy, 
getting ready for the big game? Hi, Troy. Hey, Sharpay. Oh, 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 oh. Wonderful job, Troy. Help him before the ball crushes him under its weight. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of the high school students and you know, a lot of the parents too remember their kids watching uh, High School Musical on Disney, and um, I think it'll hopefully bring some nostalgia and you know get the crowd really next weekend. Hopefully, they get out how much fun we're having. Like, I want them to feed off our energy because every single one of us on stage, we're having fun while playing this character that we ourselves might not be in the high school. And then seeing that the musical is in a high school set setting, I hope they understand. Maybe help bridge the generation gap, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say people are probably going to be most excited for the signature We're All in This Together dance. Um, mm -hmm. It's all, all known for this fun, upcoming dance that everybody mm -hmm. knows. So it'll be really cool um, to be able to see the audience connect with that um, since it's very, very similar to the mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. Oh, I think it's just going to be so exciting for people. I don't think people are used to seeing something so new uh, and modern on the WSR stage. Everything's pretty old school, so, you know, people of all ages are getting really excited to see One. These kids are not movie stars, but they'll be all in this together as Waverly Shell Rock High School performs Disney's High School Musical for the Fall Musical on November 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Rated Performing Arts Center. From Waverly Shell Rock High School, this is Eric Van Sickle reporting for Waverly Newspapers.